With spring finally here, now is a great time to start putting some thought into your lawn fertilization program. Now a common question I've been getting this time of year is whether you should go with strictly liquid fertilizers or whether you should opt for a granular fertilizer like Humic Max here. Now in this video, my goal is to help you to see the pros and cons of each and maybe even convince you that the best answer is not one or the other, but really both. So let's start with the pros and cons, starting with granular fertilizers. Now, the big benefit of a fertilizer like Humic Max, or really any granular fertilizer, is that it's easy. Easy to apply, all you're really gonna need is a broadcast spreader, you set the calibration properly, and make the passes over your lawn, and you're done. So as far as a standpoint of, of an easy way to get nutrients into your soil, it's really tough to beat uh, granulars for ease of use. Some of the benefits of granular fertilizers is that they tend to feed for a bit longer than their liquid counterparts. So you can expect four to six weeks of, of, of nutrients going into your soil, depending on the type of formulation that you're, that you're using. As far as when you expect to see green up when you're using a granular fertilizer, figure five to seven days. So they're easy to apply, but it's gonna be five to seven days a week or so before you start seeing visible results from your granular fertilizer application. Now let's compare that to liquids. So here I've got two different liquid fertilizer options. There's tons of them out there, but I'm just gonna share two that I, I commonly use on my lawn. The first one is Release 901C. This is a biosimilant product as well as a fertilizer all in one. So you've got 9% uh, nitrogen in this, 1% um, potassium. Um, and then Nutrizolve is strictly a micronutrient product. So this is gonna provide a lot of the nutrient demands for your grass, and then this is gonna supply, Nutrizolve is gonna supply your, your zinc, your iron, uh, copper, molybdenum, a lot of those nutrients that your grass needs, but are available really in smaller amounts. So these two can be mixed together, and they're gonna help feed your lawn. And that really is the, the big power when it comes to, uh, to, to liquid fertilizers, is the ability to mix and match products, right? So you're able to take you know, your, your liquid um, fertilizer that does your, your NPK, that supplies your nitrogen, your potassium, or in some cases your phosphorus if you need that. And you're also able to add like a micronutrient product, other biosimilant products, you can add kelp products. I mean, you're able to put all that in the tank and spray them all at the same time. A common um, additive that I will use in my liquid fertilizers is a growth regulator called Primo Max. So I'll put all of them in the tank, spray them all the lawn, and it saves a lot of time. So what's the negative thing? So I'm, I'm telling you all the pros and cons. It sounds like it's all sunshine and roses. And really, it's not so much a negative, but the only challenge that people that are new to lawn care or new to liquid fertilizers might have, might be a little bit off-putting, is that you need to have a properly calibrated backpack sprayer to get a good result when it comes to using liquid products. So what do I mean by that? When you have a properly calibrated backpack sprayer, it means that you understand what the walking pace you need to have is, or you've measured the walking pace that you need to have on your particular lawn to put out the right amount of product over the, the amount of square footage that the label calls for. So for example, Release 901C and Nutrizolve, the rates on the label, will specify a certain amount of product. So in this case of, of 901C, it's like two to three ounces of, of this product mixed with a gallon of water. And when it comes to Nutrizolve, it's like six ounces of Nutrizolve with a gallon of water, and that has to be sprayed over a thousand square feet. It's not difficult, and I've got videos, I'll link, I'll put one up here in the eye now, and I'll also have some links in the description on how to do that, or a process for, that I like to take for calibrating a backpack sprayer. Once you have that done, you've got it figured out, it's like a one-time thing, and then you're good to go. The things with liquids is that within a couple of days, two days or so, you're gonna start seeing visible results, but they don't tend to feed as long as their granular counterparts. What I tend to do is I use a combination of these two. So Humic Max has 16% nitrogen, 8% uh, potassium, but really no micronutrients and none of the other biostimulants other than humic acid that, that the release uh, 901C product and that Nutrizolve offer. So what I will do is I'll apply my granular fertilizer at lower rates, so three pounds per thousand. So I put I get about 60% uh, of, of the nutrient demands from the macros from my granular. And then I'll supplement that by spraying liquids twice a month. So a good example, we're about to, this is the end of March when I'm filming this. The first time I'm gonna start putting down granulars on my lawn is gonna be the 1st of April, so it'll be next Saturday. And I will apply Humic Max on, on that day. So the next Saturday, I'll, I'll be putting this down. And then on the same day, I'll spray 901C, Nutrizolve, and a few other products uh, that, like other biosimilars that I'll mix along with this at a low rate. I'll, do, I'll spray this on the 1st, and then I'll spray the liquids again on the 15th. So the granular only happens once per month, the liquids happen on the 1st of the month, and again on the 15th of the month. 
Combining both of these products together, you're not overfeeding your lawn, you're not putting too much uh, nutrients into your lawn, you're not gonna burn your grass. As a matter of fact, by taking this spoon feeding approach, you're actually able to get a great response out of your lawn, so as far as like color, consistency and growth, as well as also feeding the soil while putting less into it. So even though you're putting down more products, you're putting down less of those products. I'm gonna have other videos that will explain um, other product combinations. I'm just, I just have two up here to make this a little bit simpler and easier for you guys to follow. But I'll have also a video uh, that you'll see in the eye here now that talks about different combinations of liquids that I like to use as well as combination of granules that I like to use. In addition, there's a great blog post that we put together on the Golf Course Lawn Store that covers fertilization in excruciating detail. It has options for people that wanna do a purely organic approach in their lawn, people that wanna do a combination of synthetic products like what you see here. It talks about how to mix growth regular Later, all of that all in one great blog post. So you'll see that in the description as well as where you can where you can pick up these products.